Hey guys, what's up? It's Michelle. Welcome to my channel and this is Phrase Foliage. Um, this is a little bit of a different setting. I know we are going to go into a Home Depot tour, but I did forget to film an intro and an outro. So editing Michelle is just popping in here to remind you that if you did enjoy this video, do please like and comment something down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy my content. And if you don't follow me on Instagram already, please follow me there at Phrase Foliage. I'll have it linked down in the description down below. But Without further ado, let's just go into the planty finds at Home Depot. I did film this on February 9th. My cat is getting a little bit excited, so let's bring him in. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go see what goodies are at my local Home Depot. And this is Simba, by the way. All right, let's get into it. Starting off by the front door, we do have these nice $14 planters. Um, they look... They actually look pretty nice. We do have some really cool alocasia right here. So $15. And these are not just plastic pots. They're actually pretty nice. Um, I don't know if they have drainage, but very cute spring colors. We do have some ZZ plants. I want to say this is a Calathea or an Agliomina or honestly a Diffenbachia. Let's see if we can get some actual IDs. Number five, houseplant exclusive. Not sure what that is, but very pretty foliage. We do have, I also want to say a type of Aglionema. I am not certain though. Or a Calathea, that would, maybe it's a Calathea. But we do have some smaller Calatheas over here, super cute. Um, we have some Philodendron Birkin, some really big aloe veras. Really nice succulents, cacti succulents for $13. Okay, as usual, we have the fresh shipped plants. We have some of these yucca cane or cane plants with the golden pothos on the bottom. They are $27. Ooh, interesting. We do have the cane plant that has croton um, arrangements at the bottom if you're looking for something a little different than a golden pothos. But we have our golden pothos baskets for $15. We do have some cat palm. Interesting. I'm pretty sure these are parlor palms, but I guess they're referring to cat palm since it's a cat-friendly plant, which is pretty nice. Um, we do have some pretty small er, Monstera Deliciosas. They look like they're $20. So they're not as mature, but there are some pretty leaves. Some Sansevieria pots. Six inch for $13. We do have the $75 fiddles that we saw last time. And we do also have some ferns here. Not sure if this is just a Boston fern, but they are looking to be $9.88. Oh my God, guys, there's a, holy crap. There are some string of pearls. I've never seen string of pearls in my Home Depots. Wow, how much are these? $10. Oh my God, well, you may be coming with me. I'm gonna go over to that other side. Okay, so somebody was sneaky sneaky and hiding with the string of pearls right next to this really cute Tritoscantia. Let me see if I can find like a really nice one. There looks like there's five baskets. And this one is looking really healthy. Let me grab it. There's probably more in the back and I'm just getting ahead of myself, but wow, guys, for $10, I know this is a super, I mean, difficult plant there's also pests in it for sure but wow guys I guess hanging string of plants are becoming more available in the area that's really exciting ten dollars okay we do have a really cute fiddle right here for a hundred and thirty dollars oh my gosh Oh, I do like how this cane plant is coming in this type of basket versus this one. It's a little bit more decorative. Let's see, for $29, so roughly the same. But wow, look at these golden pothos. They're huge. Wow, guys, I just have to show you this peacefully bloom. Look at that. Wow, if I didn't have cats that were very interested in my plants at the moment, I would definitely get a peace lily because the one I had has already died. 
Okay, but we do have White Bird of Paradise for $40. It does have a new leaf coming in, actually two, if you can see. Really nice. We do have a new shipment here, and it looks like it's all succulent arrangements. The sad cacti that get the little heads glued on them. We do have some Haworthia, it looks like, in there, and they're $5. The sad painted cactuses. We do have some cute, like, Valentine's Day succulent planters. We'll check these out in a minute. Okay, over here we do have some Aglionema. Um, yeah, it's the Valentine one, I believe. Ferrigio Aglionema, but the really pretty red one. Some small ZZ plants for 15 Some smaller Aglionema, some golden pilthos, some ponytail palms that are actually super cute. We have some nice Dracaena. Diffenbach, yeah, on the bottom, I want to say, and some small parlor palms, or I guess cat palms. But these parlor palms are 15, I think that's a parlor palm. And these, I believe, Diffenbach, yeah, are 15 as well. Wow. $25. Some beautiful string of dolphins or string of bananas for $13. This is actually super cute too. These have been a little bit more readily available in these Home Depots lately. Um, I just haven't seen string of pearls before. Oh god guys they have Hoya Carries. Um, this one it's $10. Now I do have this I have a variegated Hoya Carry. Um, a single node. It has not grown but they're really cute. But these are super cute. Just these little cacti. Is this a Calathea? Calathea, yeah. Super cool. Alright guys, so they're starting to clean in here and I really don't want it to be loud so I'm just going to come to the new plants in the back. But starting off, we do have some pretty big dracaenas. Um, we do have almost a combined basket of like Diffenbachia and Arrowhead plants but oh my gosh it's a whole arrangement wow um I don't know if I can take that out but there look to be some Arrowhead plants some Diffenbachia some Dracaena there is a Calathea down there or a prayer plant wow that is a hefty plant boy oh and there's a lot of sphagnum but I don't see prices. I do, however, see a bunch of pests. Oh, this is... So for $40, not too bad because you can just separate all the plants and get a lot, but moving on up, we do have some peperomias, some sansevarias, some parlor palms. We have a lot of pileas. Super cute. And these smaller and larger ones, so the larger sizes are $10. These smaller pots are also 10. Interesting. Let's go over to this side. Ooh, wow. Okay, so down here we do have some regular Hartley Philodendron, some spider plants, some fur plants. Let's look at the flare plants. Price, $17. Do have some nice pepperomia baskets. Peperomia are also 17. We do have these spider plants. I think I may get a spider plant. I have been wanting one lately. We do have a beautiful um, Tristantia baskets down here as well. They should be 17. Oh my gosh, they are super, super heavy. Yeah, $17, really pretty. You don't find many like deep purple plants. But here we have a Manjula pothos. I want to say, sorry, Marble Queen it's for 17. Also super pretty. Look at this leaf. It's like almost half moon action. Um, we do have some Peperomia Ginny. I want to call it baskets for 17. Uh, we do have the Scandaxis Exotica. If people are still looking for those, those are 17 as well. And our nice green Hartley Philodendron baskets as well as more stand here. Lots of ferns. It seems like ferns are going to be the, the theme for uh, spring of 2022. 
Okay, looking at this little section, we have our lovely golden pothos hanging baskets for 20. We have some hanging ivy baskets. This ivy is super pretty. And the, the leaf shape is super interesting. It's like a star. Watch it be called like a star ivy. Uh, for $20, there's no name, but if you know the ID, let me know, because it's really pretty. Uh, we have some more hanging ivy baskets, some more spider plants, a begonia basket right here, strawberry begonia, probably 17 as well. Oh, 20. Super pretty. Yeah, these spider plants, the variegated on the inside, all oh, are super pretty. And some golden pothos. Super pretty. Some brazils in there. These golden pothos are just so large. Wow, that's really nice. And yeah, some more prayer plants. A lot of the golden pothos. You can't go wrong with the golden pothos. Snake plant's pretty sad, but cute. These are super pretty leaves, wow. These guys are all 20. Over here, we of course have more of our philodendron brazils. Wow, look at that leaf. That is massive. Massive philodendron brazil leaf. Oh, what is this? What are you? Because you are interesting. Is this like a fern of sorts? Because it also has a creepy crawly, like is it like a rabbit? Fern? Oh, kangaroo paw fern. Really interesting. Um, I've never seen this here, but for 20. These are also really interesting. These look like a snake plant or maybe a Dracaena variety. Uh, spider plant, okay. Sorry, why did I say snake plant? It obviously looks like a spider plant. Sorry guys, but it's like an all green variegation one. So if you're looking for that, that's here. Super pretty, let's go around to the back. But yeah, just mainly golden pothos, the all green spider plant, and some sad guys. It really looks like Peperomia baskets, as well as Tradescantia baskets, prayer plant baskets, and golden pothos are the majority of the baskets they have for now. These are really pretty though. We have some interesting plants up here. A waffle hanging basket for 17. Okay, starting over here, we have our little arrangements. So Chinese New Year, I believe, just passed, so they still have a lot of these um, you know, New Year kind of decor, which are super cute. Over here, these baskets are super cute, or I should say these, just these plants and these flowers that pop out. They're just so colorful, but these are all a $6, the Kalanchoes. The orange are really pretty. Then we have some... I want to say, yeah, gardenia for 22. I actually like this little plant stand, but over here, um, I'm gonna maybe move. No, I won't. Um, so we do have these like super soft calatheas down here that I have actually been interested in purchasing one. So let me look at these, but the rubifaria calathea for seven for, for 15. Super pretty, as well as these calathea zebrinas. Uh, the circular, yeah, Sabrina is the circular one, 415. Sorry guys, I am not a Calathea person. Calathea Vitatia, 15. Do you guys hear Owl City playing in the background? I am having a complete throwback to grade school. Okay, in the back here, we do have some really nice Dracaenas. These are like thick, but look how just fluffy they are um but they are 13 dollars. those are really nice and we have some smaller dracinas down there for 13 as well turning around i do have my favorite um the syngonium but oh my god look at these little alocasia oh my god wait i know alocasia are like this one specifically i feel like the poly isn't something or is this the frederick um doesn't tell me anything. I think this is the Polly or the Frydeck, Frederick, whatever it's called. They're so tiny though. They're so cute. I may get one just to, oh, what? How much was it? $8. That's honestly not too bad. 
as I was saying, Calathea are just notoriously difficult plants, so it's nice that they have small ones that you can just kind of test your luck with. But we do have these nice Syngonium. I always am tempted when I'm here because they're not the most expensive. Super pretty ferns. They have a lot of just like small scale pots, which again, if you're into small plants or if you're not, there's always a plant for you at Home Depot. We do have some better looking Addisonii planters. They're just kind of not the happiest, but that's how mine looked when I bought mine last year from Home Depot as well. We do have some nice neon pothos. Um, hello, Albo. What is that? Um, also looking a little dirty, but they're looking pretty cute for $13. Have some more curling pepperonia down on the bottom. The pepperonia are going for ten dollars. Some baby monsteras for fifteen. Some more Sansevieria. Some more Diffenbachia. Back here we do have um, the Raven ZZ army. Uh, we have some. It looks like Spathophyllum. Yeah. So we do have some Pisolis down here for fifteen. We have some. Watermelon Peperomia, Raindrop Peperomia, my favorite binary code, Calathea. We have the super fun fern. Oh, we do have some Global Greens still here. They are looking a little bit smaller. The first time I came here, uh, the plant, like the size of the leaves are huge, so these have scaled down a bit. Okay, these have been popping up more. What is this? A Calathea? I'm not sure. $20. Ooh. Is this a Mandula Pothos? Yeah, Mandula Pothos. That's pretty. For $7. So the last begonia I brought home did not do too well, but this is super pretty. We have another super pretty begonia right here. I love looking through all these small ones because you never know. You might find something pretty nice. But I actually love this begonia. Um, I'll get a little bit personal. My grandmother just passed away a few weeks ago, so I did take a little bit of time from social and from producing videos, but um, she was known for her red hair. Uh, it wasn't natural, but she dyed it. She kept it up for a long time, and I have been on the hunt to just want to get a red plant to kind of, you know, have with and just kind of have it be like her plant. So I have been keeping my eye out for a reddish plant. I don't know if a begonia is the best idea, but I'm going to keep her for now. Okay, over here we have more of these guys. Um, I really don't know what they are, but there's a bunch. We do have some larger Monstera, which is nice to see, the Addisonia. I think they're the wide form for 20. Oh, and we do have some Raphidophora Tetrasperma, excuse me, for $20. Wow. I know there's a lot of drama about this plant with it being, I assume these are the tissue cultures, but they look pretty good to me. If someone wants to kind of enlighten me more on the drama, um, or just, I guess, like the efficacies of this plant, would love to know, but I guess they are in our local big box here. Uh, we also do have some, I want to say, oh, we have the Baltic Blue. Wow, that's pretty. I did not actually know what this looked like, but I am tempted. Baltic Blue Pothos. Epidemrum, I should say, for $20. And a pretty cute planter. 
Yeah, the Baltic blues are all here. They were kind of tucked with the Raptophora. That's why I was like, oh, maybe this is a less mature version. Um, but we do have some Bergens as well as some Raven's Easies. All for 20. This is the, I want to say, Trending Tropicals. Yeah, Trending Tropicals collection. Some Raindrop Pepper Romeo. That's a huge pot. But over here, we have some cute little hanging arrangements. I actually do want to get more hanging plants. But this is a nice little neon pothos. We have a regular philodendron uh, green. A sweat plant? No, no, that is who I am in naturally. Does it sweat? They also have task seed kits. I haven't heard of this yet, but that's pretty cool. I mean, gardening season is coming up. Uh, we have these cool big guys. I don't even know what the heck they are for 20. All these like succulenty plants seem to be going for 20, 16, $9. Somewhere on this side. Ooh. I like how the tips of this are brown. I don't know if that's intentional. I have been wanting a spider plant, and this one isn't looking too happy, but there's lots of babies. Oh, so cute. So cute. appreciate you, copywriter. I see you. Um, let me gently, I just want to see the price. Of course, I turn it. These are $23. They're super cool. Oh my gosh. I don't want to mess with them, but that's really cool. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this Home Depot tour and let me know if any of the plants uh, piqued your interest. If you are planning on going out um, and doing some plant shopping of your own this weekend, let me know down in the comments down below. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like it as well as subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy my content. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. And if you do have any video suggestions or anything that you'd like me to talk through, talk about, um, or just anything you'd like to see on this channel, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I do actually read all the comments I get, so would love to just have some suggestions. And of course, if you do have any further suggestions or just want to talk to me a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, go ahead and shoot me a DM over on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is at phrase foliage, just like it is here on YouTube. And yeah, we just love to chat. Um, and definitely shoot me some video ideas down below that you guys would be interested in. But yeah, thank you again for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.